Let's head out to meteorologist Katie Frazier, who is collecting the final pieces of data for her science experiment. Katie, what have you found? Well, Eric, you know, it sure was a hot day out here. So I actually, I'm not going to do any more measurements. I went ahead and collected all of it in the past hour. And you may be surprised at some of the results. And excuse me, it is a little bit windy out here. So my sign's blowing all over the place. But let's talk about today's weather first. So we're seeing temperatures in the upper 90s, low 100s. We did reach a triple digit day. Now this morning we had cloudy conditions. Now we have overall sunny conditions with overall light winds. But let's get into our results. So here's the car exterior colors that I measured. I did black, white, blue blue, a different shade of blue, gold, red, silver, and gray. And Sean, I don't know if you could zoom in on some of these temperatures, but keep in mind, we are only in the low 100s and some of these temperatures are 50 to 70 degrees above the air temperature. Very hot out here. So the hottest, hottest car colors we saw were black, gray, and blue. What about interiors? The interiors were pretty hot too. Now we only had the option to see four different interiors today. So we saw black fabric, gray fabric, brown leather and black leather. If you look at the hottest list, black leather was the hottest at almost 150 degrees. Brown leather came in second place and black fabric, of course, was hot as well at 142 degrees. So when you're getting ready to make your next car purchase here and you're looking for a cooler car, here's what you might want to look at. Silver, white and gold. Those were the coolest color, color exteriors. Coolest interiors, gray fabric was the coolest, and I have light colored fabric as well, and I could tell you it does feel a lot cooler than some of these cars that, ew, it was just too hot, you guys. So, overall, I'll post this picture on our website so you can have another good look at this to see, hey, what kind of car do you want in the future? But for now, I'm going to toss it back to you guys, reporting from Rudolph Volkswagen, Katie Frazier, ABC7.